All right, first grade, today, Tuesday, May 5th, we are going to take our chapter 12 test over shapes. So um, I'm just going to move rather quickly, read the question, um, clarify any confusions that I think you might have with the question. Um, I'm not going to be telling you the answers, but I will um, give helpful tips if I feel like the question is a little bit confusing. Um, parents, I ask that you please, please, please let your child attempt this test on their own. Um, pause at any point if you need more time to answer and I'm moving too quickly. Um, and just absolutely do your best. So, number one. Which shapes are curved? So, choose all all that apply so that could be one of them that could be all of them um, you choose all of these that are curved so um, since we are talking about shapes the circles here to the left are the bubbles you need to actually be bubbling in so they're showing you a circle a square a circle a triangle and a rectangle so those are the five choices, and any of those that are curved, you need to bubble in. Okay. Number two, circle the number that makes the sentence true. Okay. A trapezoid has two, three, or four vertices which is the same thing as corners number three how many triangles make a trapezoid so get out those pattern blocks if you need to lay them out um, draw it out if you need to but um, make sure that you are making sense of this so get out a trapezoid and then lay down those triangles on top of it and see how many triangles it takes to make a trapezoid because then you're going to come down here and you're going to draw to show the blocks that you used so you need to go ahead and draw the trapezoid okay and then you're going to draw your lines to show me how many of those triangles are in there. Number four, circle two. Circle two shapes that combine together to make this new shape. So you're going to circle them. You're picking two of these. Which two shapes put together make this shape? Number five, use a triangle to make a rectangle. Draw lines to show the parts. So they're gonna walk you through it. Step one, combine this triangle and this triangle it's going to give you a square right it would be here and here they put it together and make a square step two use that new shape that square and you're going to put a square and a square together to make this rectangle thinking back to those triangles how many triangles did it take to make that rectangle? This is where you put your answer. Inside of here, put your number answer of how many triangles it took to make that rectangle. And which is larger, a quarter or the whole? So is a quarter piece bigger? Or is the hole going to be bigger? Number six. Use four pattern blocks. You have to use exactly four. 
not three, not two, not five, four pattern blocks to make this shape. Draw to show the blocks you used. So you can draw lines on this picture or you can just draw the shapes out here if you would like. Or both. Four pattern blocks. Number seven, draw a line to show the parts. So you need to show one trapezoid and one triangle. So in this big triangle, you need to break it up and divide it into one trapezoid and one triangle. So show me where you would have to split it to, to have a trapezoid and a triangle. If that's confusing to you, get out your pattern blocks get out one trapezoid and one triangle and put them together to make a bigger triangle. Okay, number eight. Does this shape, so the shapes that they're showing you, does it show equal shares? It doesn't matter how many shares, just are they all equal shares yes or no so is this circle showing you equal shares yes or no is this square showing you equal shares yes or no and is this triangle showing you equal shares yes or no Number nine, circle the shapes that show halves. There might be one, there might be four. You circle all the shapes that are showing you halves. And finally, number 10, draw lines to show fourths. So you need to divide this square into fourths. Show line, draw lines to show me fourths. Once you do that, how many equal shares did you draw? Put that number here. So actually write a number in this box. How many halves can you show in a square? put a number here. How many halves can you show in a square? And then tell how you can solve this problem in a different way. So to me, that's asking you what's a different way to divide this square into fourths. So what's another way you could have solved that out? All right. Parents, I will put the answer key on Class Dojo, and if you all have any other questions about this test, um, reach out and let me know. But take as much time as you need to take this test and just do your best.